Hi, I'm Eric Lawrence, and this is a simple demo of how to record a network traffic capture for debugging purposes using the new Chromium-based version of Edge. In a lot of cases, when we're trying to reproduce bugs in the network stack or even in websites, it's useful to get the raw traffic from the network. Historically, you would use a tool like Fiddler to do so, but it's an external tool, and the use of a proxy could interfere with the behavior that you're trying to capture. Chromium, and thus by extension the new version of Edge, includes a built-in network logging system. To use it, go to edge colon slash slash net export. This will offer a simple user interface that allows you to configure the options for your capture. If you're doing a capture that includes a repro that requires cookies or other information, and you trust the person that you're sharing your capture with, you can choose the Include Raw Bytes option. This will ensure that nothing gets stripped out of the capture. But be careful, this will also include sensitive data, including your cookies and other information that you don't want to be publishing publicly on the internet. To use it, simply set your option and then choose Start Logging to Disk. In the Start Logging to Disk option, choose your file name. Let's just do simple load cnn.json and choose save. Now importantly, open another tab. If you try to navigate this tab, it's going to end the capture. So we open a new tab, perform our repro. In this case, we're just going to load the page, scroll around a bit. You would reproduce whatever problem you're having. And then when we're done, go back to the first tab and click stop logging. The outcome will be a file on disk in JSON format that contains all of the network activity that occurred while the trace was open from all tabs in the process. You can click show file to show the file in Windows Explorer, and then you can share the file, attach it to a bug, etc. If you want to start over, simply click the start over button. Now, what happens with this file once you get it? There's an online viewer for these files. So you can go search for catapult net log viewer. And you can find an online version of the viewer. So this is the source if you want to run it locally. But more usefully, you can go to netlogviewer.appspot.com. And from there, you can choose choose file. And we'll go back to where we stored the file before, which is our downloads folder. And we're going to do the simple loadcnn.json file. In this file, if you click events, you'll be able to see a list of all of the network events that were captured. This is very low level data, including things like DNS resolutions, socket connections, version negotiation for HTTP2, push jobs, etc. The data will appear on the right hand side includes timestamps and information. Since we chose the include raw bytes option, the raw bytes of the responses will be visible in base64 form. You'll see them down here. Now you can also look at other information from the timeline to see what happened and when. You can find information about the user's cache state, HTTP2 connections that were active in the capture, proxy settings, etc. However, this view is not necessarily the most friendly for the debugger if you're accustomed to something like Fiddler and its captures. Fortunately, Fiddler now has an option available to import these files. To use it, simply navigate to this URL, baden.com, WACDL, WAC fiddler import netlog.exe, run the installer, and now Fiddler will gain an option to import the files. So let's start up Fiddler. In the file menu, choose File, Import Sessions. Fiddler is not very DPI aware, unfortunately. Choose Netlog JSON. Choose the folder, the download. 
and Fiddler will parse the data and show it in this more traditional and potentially useful format. Now, one interesting aspect of the netlog format is that it does not rec include request bodies. It only rec includes response body data. And so you can't necessarily replay the request to see what the, the server would have received. You can, however, view the responses, and you can use Fiddler's autoresponder option to return data back. And so you can simulate the server and see whether or not you can reproduce the problem that was in the capture. The netlog import also contains the raw capture info in JSON format. So this will allow you to look at all of the nodes that were in that response. The capture info will tell you which version of Edge was used, its launch path, the commit hash, the client OS, and so forth. You can also do things like view the enabled extensions in JSON view, and it's a filtered view of the extension information that might be most relevant. And then in the raw JSON view, this will take a while to load, it'll actually load all of the raw JSON nodes that were in the network capture. So you can dig into the specific events and the low level data that's within those events as needed if you find that useful. As you can see, however, it's rather hard to interpret. And that's the advantage of the importer is that it will do that work for you. Anyway, I hope you found this useful. Please let me know if you have any questions. Eric Law at Microsoft.com.